Hello, all. I'm Vanessa. Welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me. So, for this question, um, is one type of uh, make a supposition for the assumption method. So, let's take a look. On Children's Day, a total of 40 pupils were given some jelly beans. Each boy received 5 jelly beans and each girl received 2 jelly beans. If the boys received 25 more jelly beans than the girls, how many girls were there? So this type of question would be slightly different from the usual um, chicken and cows, and the total number of legs and total number of animals in a farm, that kind of question. Because here, the other condition is the boys receive 25 more jelly beans than the girls. So in this case, we're not referring to the total number of jelly beans. We're referring to the difference between the jelly beans received by the boys and that of the girls. So for the actual total number of jelly beans, the boys receive 25 more than the girls. Okay, so usually we start off, um, since we asked for how many boys were there, we start off assuming all were girls. But for this case, for illustration, for your understanding, I would like to start off with the same side of the question. That is the boys having more than the girls. So I'll start off assuming that all pupils would be boys. Okay, to be the same as that of the question. And then another scenario whereby we start off with all pupils were girls. So all pupils were boys, so 40 of them, so 40 times 5 equal 200. So the boys would have 200 jelly beans and 0 girls, so 0 jelly beans from the girls. And we can see that the difference is 200, right? But in actual question, the difference is only 25. So I do have a gap of 175 to close, so that I can achieve the desired state of the boys having 25 more jelly beans than the girls. So of course, I have to start taking out some boys and putting some girls and see what happens to the difference between these two total. So let's imagine that we take out one boy first. So I have to take away five jelly beans from the boys. And that I will put in one girl. So two jelly beans to the girls now. And as you can see right now, the difference has dropped by seven, two and five. So it's 200, take away 2, take away 5, I would have 193 for the difference. I continue to do that, another 1 boy, and another 5, so put in 1 girl to increase to the girls. You can see that the difference continues to drop by another 7. Right, so how many times do I have to do so? So how many boys do I have to take up? That is the number of girls. That were there right so every time i do take out one boy and i put in one girl the gap is reduced by seven so how many times do i have to do that to close all the gap 175 divided by seven equals to 25 so 25 times of the operations so 25 girls there were so if i know that there were 25 girls then the difference would be 15 boys, 40 take away 25. And with that, we have answered the question. And before we put in <laughs> the number 15, let's take a quick check using the calculator. So 15 boys, 15 times 5, minus um, bracket, 25 times 2, I would have a difference of 25. So that's the answer. So now, let's move on to the other perspective of studying from the fact that uh, all pupils were girls. So what will happen now? So all pupils were girls, so 40 of them. So the girls would have a total of 80 jelly beans and then zero boys. So the difference between them would be 80. So at this point, take a look. The difference is that the girls would have more than the boys, right? But remember, in the actual question, the boys receive 25 more jelly beans than the girls. So what is the gap that the boys had to close right now? Other than closing the 80, because boys had more than girls, and on top of that, the boys had 25 more. Do you see that? 
So the gap to close is actually 25 plus 80. Right? So again, the same thing. I take on one girl, I put in one boy. The difference will drop by 7. So how many times do I have to do that? Is how many girls I have to take out and how many boys would go in. So how many times do I have to do that operation? 105 divided by 7, which is equals to 15 times. So as good as saying that 15 boys. So again, do a quick check. Okay, but you see that at this point, you only have three steps as compared to the other one. But because you're starting from the different side, okay, from the, from the question, you have to add 25 to 80. So the gap that we identify is, is different. But the difference, that means every time you take one girl, put in one boy, it will cause the gap to drop by 7. It's the same as the previous scenario. So that's it. I hope you have a better understanding with this kind of a make a supposition question. And if you do like this video, um, find it beneficial, do give me a like. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos. And of course, um, yep, you may want to share. And with that, I shall end my presentation. Goodbye and have a good day.